Hi guys, it's me again, Mr. Goldgiver here, doing my uh, part two of um, my trainer making uh, video tutorial. Okay, in part two, I'll be showing you how to put a script this into a trainer. So first, what you need to do is right-click the script that you just made, go to set hotkeys. Go to create hotkey, then here just put F1, then make sure you have it on Google script, on target script, then apply, then OK, and once you've done that, go to fire, also make sure you have your game on, because you need to have the XE running, and also make sure you have the process selected, so it comes up kind of like that. OK, then go to file, then go to generate genetic train up Lua script from table okay and then it'll come up with this and what you need to do here is just basically name your trainer so I'm just going to put trainer on here and then uh, here you've got the about thing which is this thing here highlight and you click and it'll come up with this you can change that to whatever you want and you got uh, set icon so it's the icon for here uh, and then you got set side image which will be will come up in here and um, after you've done that click on here play sound uh, which is, is uh, put sounds they've told me yeah. activate a hot key it'll make a sound and when you deactivate it'll make a different sound and this is what it sounds like that's the activate that's deactivate and if you want to you could put your own sounds in but I'm not sure how to do that so. Um, my friend is working on doing that, so who knows, maybe I'll make a video on that too in the future. Okay, once you've done that, you just press design uh, user interface manually, and all this stuff will come up, and you just put this here, and now you can just uh, make how, how big you want it, and then what you need to do is click on that, and go to align, put it to custom, then do the same thing there. And then this, what that does is it lets you align all yourself to where you want it, how you want it. Okay, I just want to pull out that. That. This is the background behind your image. Oops, I want to do that. Okay. That's what you want to make that's what you want to look like. Now this is where the image is. The image will be you got your belt and all that stuff. That's basically what it will look like. Now here what you will do is highlight that. Go up here, onto the left. And just get rid of that first deactivate thing. Then just click on here. And then there, and there you go, it's, it's changed. And that's it for your trainer. And once you've finished designing it, just exit these. Go back to this one. Untick user can resize window, that'll just pop up, just click there. To get rid of it. And that's it, and then all you do now is just um, generate trainer, type in the name you want to make the trainer, blah blah blah, doesn't matter for me, then save, then here we want to, we want to highlight for 32 bit system or 64 bit system, I have 64 bit system, and what I want to do is highlight the speed hack, and after that just press generate, generate the trainer, press OK, and there it is there, and you can just exit that and put that down if you like want to test it and if it works fine you can actually just exit that stuff there we go. now I'll just double click that and there it is there you go and if I go back to there you go 999,999 999, 999, 999. That's what my script is currently set at. 
you can go higher. Go, go too high, or you'll freeze the game. Okay, then that's it. Save that now. All right, there. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my uh, two-part series tutorial on to the, how to go from finding offsets on PC games to making the script and then putting it into a trainer and building it. So yeah, if you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do. I'd really appreciate when people do that. I've also reached almost 500 subs, thanks to all the people that have subbed. See you later.